What's up guys, this is going to be an unboxing of the NES30 game controller. And this controller is celebrating the 30th anniversary of the NES that launched. Um, this isn't a Nintendo liced product, but on the back it says it's from 8-Bit Do uh, Limited, or 8-Bit Do Tech HK Limited. So I believe this is a Hong Kong based um, company that made this. And it looks pretty cool. It's Bluetooth, I thought it was wireless, but it connects through the Bluetooth. And it's compatible with iOS devices, Android, Mac, OS and Windows. Um, so that's that's awesome, you can use this on any of those devices. Shame you can't use it on the consoles. Um, shame it isn't wireless. Uh, <coughs> it says it has a built-in 40 up 480 mAh lithium battery. Um, what does it say? In the box, it comes with the gamepad, Xander, I don't know what that is, NES style USB cable, and a 30th anniversary keychain. That's to say, dual mode support, Bluetooth keyboard, and touchscreen simulation. Firmware upgradable for function expansion in the future. So you can program the keys to, to easy set up combo key and turbo keys. Okay, the Xander thing is a stand up your touchscreen device and play with these. It's maybe a little docking thing for your phones. Uh, NES 30th anniversary gamepad edition retro design, same touch, same feeling. Let's go ahead and check out what's inside. Cool, I like the packaging already. So here's the controller. Laid flat. Try to get it out. It's a nice little box. Okay, this is the. What is this? Kind of like a little case. Case for it? The Xander case thing. Here's the controller, buttons feel good, responsive, not loose, actually feels like the real thing. Same with the D-pad, and then your normal rubber, start and select. It has like lights here, I guess is like Bluetooth and connection lights possibly, or charging light. Um, then it has a micro USB on the top and then on the back it says 8-bit do gamepad so I'm guessing they make other ones like other retro pads possibly like a Mega Drive one or, or other ones or SNES even which are Bluetooth and you can probably play them on your know, like other devices. I forgot about these triggers at the top here. Left and right triggers. Feels pretty nice. Just like the uh, real thing. So let's go ahead and see what else is in here. Not sure why Nintendo didn't actually make one, did one themselves, because that would have been good. An official sort of controller. I, I know they did one for the Wii. <coughs> I think it was the on the Club Nintendo. It was similar to this, but you can only purchase it with the Club Nintendo points. And I think the NES, the old retro NES style controller, acted like. Um, the Wii gamepad. Right, so we got booklet, instructions, what the uh, LED light does. You can play it with Super Mario's, Super Mario Bros. Like the box, like how it's um, packaged. It's very nice. 
So it says it's a NES style USB cable, which I gather is just grey. That's the NES style USB cable, standard grey really. And then the keychain. Looks like a Zelda keychain. Okay, what's this? Does it say 30th, 30th anniversary? Can't actually read what it says. This is the keychain. It's like got some words embroidered. And on the back it has like the controller. I'm trying to turn it on but it doesn't tell you how to turn it on. There's no switch. And it doesn't look like this. Oh, oh it is on. We'll test this on the game. And then I'll be right back. Okay, here's the controller and it's all connected up to my Samsung Galaxy S4. And at the moment I've got Super Mario Bros or Super Mario World running on the SNES 9X X Plus emulator and it wasn't too hard to set up I mean I had to hold down start to make sure that the Bluetooth's on and pair it some games uh, I couldn't get it to work especially the actual app games not the emulators uh, it's kind of like a hit and miss really depending what what game um, because I was trying Trials Trials Extreme Free and only the A and B buttons worked, the D the D pad didn't work, which is I don't know why it doesn't work. That's why I still need to kind of lick into it. But as for emulators, they seem to work fine. You just have to uh, map the buttons correctly and obviously have a good or decent emulator. So let's try it out, let's see how it feels on Mario. I think I still need to mess around with the controls because this one is jump and this one's to run faster, which is why on this pad. Ugh, and obviously I'm not very good. I'm not very good at Mario's. Oh my god, I can't get that. But it seems to be responsive. It works. I don't know why I can't get those coins. Oh shit. That was close. So where my um where I laid out my buttons is totally putting me off the game. But it works, which is good. Let's go ahead and try out a different emulator on a different game. Okay, so let's try out Sonic the Hedgehog 2 using the NES controller. And this game's running on the Classic Boy app, which is basically an all-in-one emulator. And the good thing about this is that it runs the games on widescreen like compared to the SNES one that I use where you have to play it vertical and the screen is much smaller uh, I just find this better to play games on widescreen uh, so let's go ahead and check this out let's see what it's like using the NES controller on a Sonic game What I found about um, using this controller on the Classic Boy app was that it didn't pick up the controller, like it didn't say the name um, like it did with the SNES, uh, SNES 9EX. 
So it was kind of a bit more fiddly to to connect up to this emulator because it didn't auto detect it. But other than that, um, it seems to be working fine. Oh, I mean the buttons are responsive. I guess the only thing that doesn't feel comfortable for me is the D-pad. I don't know if it's because I'm too used to playing Sonic on the Genesis or Mega Drive, um, where the Mega Drive controllers are like, or the D-pad is like rounded off. So it just seems a bit more stiffer. For instance, if I want to like jump and go left, it seems like I need to put more pressure on the D-pad just for it to register. So I'm guessing for like fighting games such as Street Fighter, maybe this won't be that good. I don't know. I have to test out, test it out on a. Fighting games because it just seems a bit stiff. Maybe it's just me. But yeah, that is what it's like on the um, phones. Anyway, I've yet to try this this controller on my Wii. I think that'll be pretty good. And using it on my PC especially on MAME I think they'll be good to try this out on a MAME game so there you go guys that is my unboxing and first look at the NES30 game controller Obviously slightly a bit different than the original NES controller as it's got two additional buttons up here and the triggers at the top. Keychain, the USB manual. Pretty cool stuff. Um, for those of you who haven't like seen or touched a NES controller, I'm sure there's many of you that have, but um, for those of you who haven't, like this is actually quite a comfortable controller to use for sort of platformy side scrolling games. I haven't tried it on anything else, but yeah, it's, it's a decent controller. I'm sure there are many others that you can use. I'm sure you can use your PS3 or whatever, but for the retro feel, this is a good sort of replica, I guess. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you are planning to purchase one of these, I would recommend it. It's a nice touch for your phone or any other device, PC even, you can use this. You can use this for playing emulators on your PC. So anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.